<laughs> okay guys, weird experience. I was over here at the Mad Swede in Boise, Idaho. Uh, people didn't laugh when I did my part, but uh, a couple of guys came out and said, hey, awesome job, man. One guy gave me a hug and said, love the story. Loved the bit. <laughs> it was entertaining. I, I was on board the whole time and I'm just like, okay, all right, interesting. All right, this is an open mic, so sometimes we get people here who I've never even seen perform before. So this next comic, he goes by Super Trucker Tim, presumably because he was bitten by a radioactive trucker or something. We're going to find out. Please give it up for Super Trucker Tim. Hey, Boise, how's it going? Hey, you guys doing? As the name might imply, I am a trucker, and uh, I do get around a lot. I gotta show you guys something. I just came from a place called uh, Superior, Montana. And they have this bumper sticker here that says, Superior, we tried. <laughs> and uh, this is the first honest sticker I have ever seen from a place I've been, guys. Uh, you look at it and then, uh, it's always smaller every time I go there. Uh, so I had to buy that sticker. But, uh, but guys, I do truck and uh, I roll 120,000 pounds of steel in death at 65 miles an hour, 18 wheels, to bring you your crap from Amazon. <laughs> That's right, arguably not in always the best condition. Now that I can explain. Do you know, guys, trucking is, in fact, a culture. There's a whole, a whole culture behind it. Now there's one thing you need to know about a, a trucker. Every trucker has a handle. Now a handle is a name, there's two conditions to a, to a handle. One, you cannot give it to yourself. And number two, it has to explain something about you. That's why you will never hear a trucker being called ladies man ninja 5000. Never. More like pork chop. Greasy spoon. Pork belly. Something slightly insulting like spanky. Right now? Okay, now my name, guys, that was given to me, bestowed upon me. Now, this, keep in mind, this name is more important than the name that your parents gave you in trucking. My name is Captain Crunch, and there's a whole story behind it. Okay, you have to earn your name, okay, guys? So what happens here is, is you guys ever go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and you find a washing machine or a refrigerator or some kind of piece of equipment that has a huge dent on the side of it and so therefore it is marked down. You guys ever seen that? You know who you have to thank for that and has two thumbs? Discount guy. Right? <laughs> if you guys want the fridge marked down, I'm the guy who does that for you. I mishandle that freight not on purpose. I just don't care. Kind of. So guys, what I do, it isn't that I don't completely care, it's just that we're put under a lot of pressure, right? So we bring this freight in, we got to load it on the trucks, and when we load it on the trucks, we're forced to make things fit that just don't fit on the truck. So what I learned over time is, you can make anything fit with a running start. <laughs> so I'll put these pallets on my forklift, boom, back up, clear halfway to the dock, and hit that thing as hard as I can. Now, I know every kind of crunch sound. So you'll hear the first crunch. Now that's not too bad. That's just the wood, right? The freight inside is probably okay. Then there's That's the sound of glass breaking. You're not gonna be happy with me. Then there's the sound of and the and air, rushing air coming from it. And maybe like some, some kind of liquid draining from the bottom. That's where I just close the door real fast and make it somebody else's problem. <laughs> I don't want any part of that. But guys, you know, uh, I do truck literally all over the world. All right, I, I, mainly the States. I've, I've trucked outside the country a couple times, but I just got back from Hawaii. I've been trucking on three islands in Hawaii. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, in Lanai. Lanai, well, let's start with Maui, because I was in Maui first, all right, guys? so. Here's the thing about trucking. You're always going to have what's called a yard bully. Now, the yard bully is the guy who's on every trucking lot, and his job is to make you feel incompetent that you can't do your job. And he tries to scare you. 
So I'm there in the yard, and in comes this guy. He's a Hawaiian national, and he says, Hey, bruh, you ever driven up on those volcanic roads up above up country, bruh? Yeah, the roads come out from under you. You think you can handle that? I said, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think I can handle it. You know what I've been through? I've been coming down Cabbage Pass in the wintertime. It's a six degree, six degree uh, drop, 6% grade uh, in the ice and snow. Drifted a set of truck and trailer around corners with chains on. That's what I got under my belt. You know what else I have under my belt? D's nuts and your mom. <laughs> he didn't care for that answer too much. <laughs> but needless to say, I didn't hear any more from him. <laughs> now, Hawaiian nationals, they kind of have a problem with, with white guys. Understandably, I get it. Uh, there's a lot of bad blood, a lot of bad history there. And so I hunt, right guys? I hunt a lot, so I'm hunting in Hawaii. And, uh, and I shoot a pig in Hana. I had no idea it was forbidden that pigs are, are sacred over there in Hana. So uh, I get approached by this Hawaiian native and he says to me, uh, you shot a pig on my island, bro. And I said, hey, you know what? I'm not an arguer, man. I'm not a fighter. How do we fix this? And he says, you should give me half, bro. And I said, really, that's it? I've done worse things to people in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to know about that. Anyhow, guys, uh, I go to Lanai. I go to the next island. This is Lanai. So I'm over in Lanai. Now in Maui, the trucks are pretty nice, right? But I go to Lanai, and this is not the case. I get this truck. It's rusted all the way through. There's not a straight part on the entire frame of the truck. The seats are ripped, and I'm pretty sure they don't make car air fresheners scented in cat piss, which tells me it was probably cat piss. So I get in the truck and I drive it around and I notice in the console, there's a roll of toilet paper, but no hand sanitizer, which tells me why the steering wheel was sticky. Now, I didn't want to investigate much further than that. <laughs> so I, uh, I take that truck back and you know, it was a great truck. We got the job done, I got back. Now here's where things get crazy guys because I am actually terrified of flying. Terrified. I hate flying. Anytime it hits turbulence, I go and hide in the bathroom, right? But there's one thing I noticed about a lot of us truckers. A lot of us have teenage daughters. So when I'm on that plane and I'm flying and I'm thinking about how scared I am, I just think about my daughter waiting for me back home. Dad, I need money for college. Dad, I need money for a car. And all of a sudden I looked up into the sky and I said, Lord, if today's a good day for you, it works for me. And this great calm said, and it was the first time I wasn't scared at all. You know, and, and it's amazing how having a teenage daughter could do that for you. And then I get back here, guys, and I'm actually from Salem, Oregon. Okay, now uh, Salem, Oregon is quite a bit different than Hawaii. Hawaii is beautiful, it's warm, it's got beaches, it's greenery. You get to Salem, we lose the sun in about uh, about September. We see it again in about March, okay? In the meantime, it's dark. It's dreary. It's dank, like my life. <laughs> but another thing about Salem that I appreciate about you guys is you're not so, uh, I don't know what the word, the right word is to not be offensive, but Let's just put it this way. Have you guys ever seen the people around on the West Coast that have the fluorescent hair, all chop, all chop cut, looks real sloppy? Over there in Oregon, we call that the offended. That's the name of that hairstyle, right? You can't not be humorous in any way without offending somebody. And it's nice to not see that so much over here. So uh, anyhow, uh, now I'm back over here and I'm trucking through your guys' place and I am off to Florida and uh, that's my next stop. Thanks guys. All right. Thank you Super Trucker Tim. All right, our next comic might be pooping right now and we're going to wait on... No, never mind. <laughs> All right, we are down to 